I'm here in theatre in the Artie Novi Clinic with Dr. Sam. Hello, Dr. Sam, how are you? Very fine, thank you, Ed. You're very welcome today. Thanks very much. Now, yeah. so many men out there have to come to terms with thinning on top and yeah. losing their hair. And yeah. Is there anything that can be done? Yeah, of course, yes. There's a lot. And not, luckily, not only for men, but there's a lot of females as well, the thinning of hair. It's got becoming more and more of a problem. Oh, you see, so we don't forget about the ladies here on the M spot either. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, right. But uh, for men, baldness is a common problem, more than people would think. And uh, in Ireland particularly, there is a gene that, tendons, that has a tendency to its balding and thinning of the hair more than people would expect. But there's great solutions there. There are non-surgical solutions, and there are now very excellent surgical solutions for addressing that particular problem. So tell me, uh, some of the, the options that people would face, so if, if I start to on, on top, which I don't see any signs of yet, but yeah. you know, for so, somebody out there, any of the yeah. lads out there that are, you know, are just starting at the beginning yeah. of, of yeah. thinning or yeah. they're completely bald, like what yeah. are the options, yeah. Yeah. what are the different procedures that yeah. they could possibly yeah. Yeah. avail of? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, there's great solutions now for early starting baldness or thinning of the hair, and that's in the form of carboxytherapy. It's a completely green treatment. We're using CO2 to insufflate the, the scalp, and I'm going to do a patient today for you guys to see what it looks like. And when you say green treatment, what exactly do you mean? What I mean is that it is CO2, it's a gas, it's a natural gas. We don't use a chemical or any injection with a particular uh, medication to bring that forth. We're using pure CO2, which you and I exhale, and that is actually stimulating the growth hormone release in the scalp and that excites their hair to start growing again. But even with men with you know male pattern baldness where it runs as a gene, something that simple, would it really does it really work? Like oh, it right. Is? It would work for that people as well. But op uh, the options obviously the 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 more thinning and balding you have, there might be other surgical options that will be more appropriate for that particular case. And is it expensive? The treatments are not expensive and that's one of the issues we brought forth with a collaboration with Boston Barbers that we want to create an awareness with the general public in Ireland that not only can baldness be permanently restored and addressed but also it is very affordable and we are talking about prices that we discuss with the client and most working people would be able to, to afford the procedure just like they would be able to afford any other major uh, uh, procedure. And tell me the, the percentage rates for um, the success of these procedures, what are they? The, the percentage rates would be between 90 and 100 percent at this stage. Oh, well. The technology has changed a lot over the last five years. The, the, the yield that you get from your, your transplant depends on a lot of factors. And the reason for that high percentage now is that doctors are much more aware of the causes of hair loss. Before you can come to me for a uh, procedure, you can be thoroughly investigated to see why in the first place you're losing your hair, what can be done to maintain further the hair and to stop further balding. Right, so there's a lot more than just the procedure involved here. It is a medical condition. Balding and thinning of hair is a medical condition. It's nothing to be a vein or thinking it's a vein to correct it, you're not vain. You're just correcting your natural status, which you should have a full bush of hair, that's it. So investigations can be done, we can look at the causes, we can look at possible options of treatment that's most suitable for the, mm -hmm. that particular patient. And eventually, we see patients that's extremely happy with it. They might have one or two procedures during their lifetime. In the meantime, we can now do the carboxytherapy or the CO2 treatment. Our guinea pig today is Dr. Andre. Dr. Andre, how are you getting on down there? Pretty good, thanks. <laughs> so Dr. Sam, what are we going to be doing here? We're going to do a CO2 treatment, which is an alternative to surgical treatment for growing hair. This is a fantastic option for young males and especially for females, uh, which would find surgical procedures much more complicated than males. But the bottom line is that we inject or insufflate a small amount of CO2 into the scalp like I'm doing here there and it um, allows the CO2 to spread into the scalp. I do it here and there and ever so often. I can hear the machine here. down there. That yeah, that makes a little beep as we go around. And, and tell me, uh, Dr. Andre, does that hurt? No, it's, I can feel it but it's not painful.
it's a very small bevel of the pin top, the end of the needle that we actually put in. This is nothing serious, a very simple procedure, nothing serious. 15, 20 minutes, the guys are in and out. It looks fantastic. It is a brilliant treatment and a brilliant alternative for people who do not want to have surgical treatments done or who do not qualify for them. Thank you. Well, there you have it, guys. If you're losing your hair, no need to lose hope. <laughs>